And here's a floppy disk. It's actually a, a sound sheet disk. They were common at one time. The size of this disk is smaller than the other ones that I've seen. As it says there, it's Canada Dry presents Ron Ellis with skating tips, free hockey tips from NHL pros. And the company is Park Lane Recordings, E75 Don Mills Road, Don Mills. So the um, somebody's put um, a cardboard behind as a backing to this. So this uh, looks like an ordinary cardboard. So I'm assuming there is nothing else on the opposite side of this disc. I don't know. Oh, okay, well, this, um, so the size of it, you can compare it. And I've looked at it and it looks like it comes to this point. The end, of the, the end groove of this. So it's the first time I play this, or actually the second time, because I, I had made another upload that didn't turn out as good. So needed an LP needle, at 33 RPM. will agree that it was his skating ability that helped him to reach the NHL at such an early age. Dedication and great desire helped too, but let's hear Ron talk about those skating drills that really strengthen the leg muscles. From my own experience, I would highly recommend all the skating and shinny hockey that you can handle. There is no better way to become a good skater than to do it every chance you get. And during shinny hockey, Skating is all important. If you want the puck, you have to skate to get it. Of course, there's a lot more to it than just skating. You have to be able to stop, quickly turn to either side, and skate backwards almost as fast as you can frontwards. Well, I agree, Ron. Now, how about a few drills to get us started? The first drill to work at is to skate forward hard and turn to your left and stop on both feet. Then come back hard and repeat. Do the same thing, only turn to the right. Practice and practice this until it comes naturally. Now we do the same thing again, only you turn to your left and stop on your left skate only while you bring your right over the top of the left to start back. If you are by yourself, stop at an imaginary spot. If your coach is there, stop on his whistles. This will do wonders for your skating. It strengthens your ankles, improve your mobility, and guarantees that you can get back into the play quickly if your side loses the puck. We've all seen the exciting Ellis quick break during NHL games. Here's how to practice it. Accelerating or taking off from a standing position is a big thing in hockey. The one stride jump that you can get on your opponent may be one that puts you in the clear for a goal. The stop and start drill is an old one but still a good one to improve your leg drive. You simply stop and start on whistles as you move back and forth across the ice. To get started, you raise up the front end of your skates and stride back strongly. Again, the balance and strength in your legs comes with practice. I mentioned stride when I was talking about starting off. It is also essential that you learn to stride out as far as you can to get maximum power when you push. Or this can be called or this can be called lengthening your stride. To practice this, skate down the ice, deliberately kicking each leg back as far as they can go naturally when you are skating. 
Now that we have forward skating down pat, I'm sure that you'll want to try it the other way. Some forwards make the mistake of thinking that it is only your defensemen that have to be able to skate backwards well. That's not true. We forwards have to be just as good. Do a lot of figure eight skating backwards and stop and start backwards. Make sure that you have the stick out in front of you for support. Always try to keep as much of the blade on the ice as possible. For if you get up on your toes and you happen to run into an opposing forward or defenseman, you can be knocked off balance much more easily. If you are skating backwards, you stop by spreading both legs to the sides and dig into the ice. If you are traveling to the side, you put the skates together and dig in to stop. Again, practice and these moves become second nature to you. A young man with a great career behind him and an even more illustrious future in the fastest game in the world. That's Ron Ellis of the Toronto Maple Leafs. This has been Brian McFarlane and Ron Ellis with tips on skating. For instruction on goaltending, offensive and defensive play, make sure you collect the other records in this series of hockey instruction from the pros. Well, some good tips there. Good, well thanks for listening.